at his fine mark on that occasion. The short pass to, to Russell Green. O'Halloran has taken eight marks. And uh, Bernie Quinn and his opponent has kicked three goals, three. So it's been a good duel down there. Russell Green now, in towards the centre. Britton up high, couldn't take the mark. Harris takes the ball away. The long hand pass to Ruse, on to Conlon. Conlon uses his pace, puts the ball long down towards the goals. But he's offline, and the through for only one point. So, point to Michael Conlon. It's at 19 points to March. 100 to 81. David O'Halloran. Straight up the centre of the ground. Kennedy and Ruse. Ruse wins out. Ball play on by the umpire. Quick hand pass across to Carlson. Carlson snaps the ball down towards the forward area. Punched away by O'Halloran. McMahon going after it. Can he keep it in play? No, he cannot. He and Polkinghorne, the ball's forced over the boundary line as Hawthorne make an interchange, not on camera. And deep yet a minute go off. Judge back on the ground. On camera, the boundary umpire puts the ball into play. Quinlan and Mew. Mew takes the ball, runs straight into trouble. No chance to get rid of it. And umpire Neville Nash will come in and bounce the ball. Forward pocket to, for Fitzroy. With Fitzroy at the moment, five and a half minutes into the final term, facing a 19-point deficit. Ayers, punches the ball wide. Gotch, left, right, tackled by Tuck. Gets it out to Nettlefold. Nettlefold hooks the ball towards centre-half forward. He comes across, punches the ball away. Tapped on again by Clayton. Clayton just gets the kick in down towards the forward area. Quinlan! Bernie Quinlan takes the mark. And I said a few moments ago, he's kicked three goals, three. And if he kicks it now, only 13 points will separate the teams. Bernie Quinlan, only 10 metres out. Fairly acute angle. There's the board saying 19 points to the margin. 15-10 to 12-9. Bernie Quinlan puts the ball forward and brings up his fourth goal. And Fitzroy only trailed by 13 points. So Quinlan has scored a goal in every quarter. Four for the day thus far. As we said in replay, it was Scott Clayton put the ball forward, under plenty of pressure, kicks with the left foot, and Quinlan, realising that he wasn't in the best position, manoeuvred his body beautifully to take it parallel to the ground. Now the chart begins. From the centre, Rendell wins it, tapped further forward, side bottom, it could sit for him. It does, he goes long, Quinlan's at the back, he'll watch it sail through, it does! Here come the Roys. Two goals in two minutes and they're back in business. The scoreboard sees Hawthorne 15-10, 100. Leading Fitzroy, 49-93. Well, at quarter time, we saw Hawthorne and Fitzroy locked together on 34 points. Hawthorne with a six-goal second term went to a 27-point lead. As on replay, we see side bottom put the long kick down for his second goal. At three-quarter time, it was 21 points a margin. Now it's seven as the bounce favours Rendell. He thumps the ball forward. It goes past Gotch, taken by Robertson. Robertson's kick wobbles towards the wing. Parrish almost took the mark. Caught one too high, and Les Parrish will take the free kick. Centre wing, members side of the ground. Parrish direct play towards centre half forward. Quinlan! Bernie Quinlan, 65 metres out from goal. But if anybody can kick at 65 metres, Bernie Quinlan is the one to do it. Quinlan's kick won't make the distance. It drops short. Russell Green's there for Hawthorne to take a timely mark. He gives the hand pass out to Polkinghorne. Polkinghorne towards half-back. Tuck and Nettlefold. Tuck takes the mark. Hand pass is on straight away now to O'Halloran. Well down the ground. O'Halloran... Gives a <laughs> hand pass to Wallace. Not a good piece of play, but it comes off as Wallace gives it back to Tuck. Britton on his own down the ground. He's got Knights at centre-half forward. Britton kicks it to Knights, and he takes the mark. Knights kick five in the first half of the game. Four, in fact, in the second quarter. And he's still got five at the moment after missing a sitter during the third term after taking a hand pass from Michael Moncrief. And Michael Le McCarthy, I should say, who's about to come back on the ground. Moncrief, of course, not playing today as Knights goes goalward. 
And the goal umpire says it's goal number six to Peter Knights. And once again, the Hawks breathe a little easier as they go to 106 to 93. It's a great performance by Knights. One goal in the first term, four in the second, and that one for a tally of six thus far. The Hawks have been able to show that they can answer the challenge in front of this crowd numbering 58,288. Here's the centre bounce. Can Fitzroy come back? Can Hawthorne hold them out? One by Byrne, taken by Carlson. A hurried kick it was Loveridge who applied the pressure. Now Schwab. In bother. It'll be a Fitzroy free kick for Leggy. Conlon. Well, hasn't had the chance to show that explosive speed today. Quinlan. Within kicking distance. Tried last time to possibly kick the leather off it. As a result, it was not a good kick. He looks more casual in this approach. A booming drop punt. It's a beautiful kick. It's home. The quick answer and we're back to a seven-point margin and what a final quarter of football on sevens. Big lead. Five goals to Bernie Quinlan. And what a year it's been for Bernie Quinlan. 300 games. 100 goals, 100 plus now, of course. And uh, here he is. That goal bringing Fitzroy within seven points. Burn in the ruck now for Hawthorne. Rendell still for Fitzroy. Burn gets the tap. Gotch punches it back again. Kennedy takes the ball. Off the side of the boot. Up towards Gotch. Can't handle it cleanly. Lovridge is held. We're not in possession of the ball. And Richard Lovridge will take the free kick. Midway between centre and centre wing. Richard Loveridge. Which way will he go? Across the centre of ground. Green has made position. Plays on straight away. The long torpedo punt kick up towards the forward area. Judge was up high. It's punched away though. Matthews racing after it. Keeps the ball in play. Hooks it back. Looking for Peter Knights. Punched away by Grant Lowry. Rolling towards the points. And it's taken over the boundary line by Les Parrish. No. Now he's going to be penalised. Deliberately taking the ball over the line. And uh, a courageous decision by umpire Glenn James. And it was Michael Nettlefold, not Les Parrish, who took the ball over the line. Uh, so we find now Michael Tuck from the boundary line. Right through the centre. A great goal, Michael Tuck. His first. And 13 points once again. A great pressure goal then by Tuck. Bad luck for Nettlefold. He's hardly put a foot long today. And as we watch on replay now, Grant Laurie up, punching the ball towards the goals. Bouncing across the goal line. Nettlefold coming over, taking it up, and diving for the line penalised for doing so. From the centre, Rendell, side bottom, Clayton. Thirteen points the margin, only 13 minutes played, final term, so still plenty of time. But Hawthorne appearing at the moment to be able to answer the challenge. Will Fitzroy have the chance through Rendell to go forward? 16th kick for the big ruckman. Been a wonderful performance. At the back, Leon Harris, the leaper, shoots, and he's got it! What a goal on the run by leaping Leon Harris. And what a quarter of football as we see the margin cut back yet again to only seven points. Hawthorne have kicked two goals. Fitzroy have kicked four goals in this final term. 13 minutes of football, six goals have been scored. As on replay now, we see Leon Harris put it through the centre, not actually through the centre. It didn't matter whether it was right through the centre or not. As there's the board, 112-105. Burn, Rendell, neither of a clear tap. It's picked up by Osborne. His kick goes straight up in the air. Mew punches the ball away, taken by Loveridge. His short kick up towards the centre. Knights comes out, couldn't take the mark. Goes, got game possession though. 
Peter Knight swooping through the centre, puts the ball out towards the centre wing. Carlson gets a bad bounce, straight towards Green. Green, a hand pass back to Knights once again. Knights gives the hand pass over the top to Swab. Swab tried to get the hand pass in, but it's intercepted by Clayton. And Fitzroy's Clayton comes forward now. The kick towards half forward. Ayers in the front position, couldn't quite take the mark. Gains it well, puts the ball back up the ground towards half forward. Knocked on by Burton, or tried to knock the ball on, and Big Rendell takes yet another mark. Plays on, dummies around Burton, puts the kick up towards half forward. A well-placed kick, but a great, desperate effort there by Kennedy to tap the ball away. Wilson puts the ball forward, and Quinlan takes the mark. Bernie Quinlan, five goals to his credit. And as we say every time, Bernie Quinlan gets the ball. He may be a long way up, but uh, you're always lucky to see Quinlan get the distance. Distance he does as Quinlan spears the centre. One point the margin between the sides. 17-10 to 17-9. Six goals to Bernie Quinlan. 112 minutes. to 111. Sorry, Sandy. It's all right, Bobby. 15 minutes gone. Still plenty of time for either side. What a struggle. What a great battle it's been. There are runners going everywhere. Peter Knights may have kicked three goals in the second quarter, but Quinlan has kicked, uh, kicked four in the second quarter, Knights. Quinlan three so far in this. As we go back to the centre bounce. With Glenn James, Rendell and Byrne. Rendell plucks it out of the air, but he gets caught. Nettlefold has tried his heart out. Gotch paddles it forward towards Roos. He escapes. Laurie, what's he doing right down there? Onto the left foot. A bad pass straight to Gary Ayres, who's done a marvellous job in defence. Ayres, in the back pocket. Passes beautifully. Finding Wallace. Goes straight on to Roberts. Away they go. The Hawks have been able to answer every challenge. This is possibly the greatest. Schwab, towards full forward. Carlson comes to meet it. Coleman is there also. Carlson goes to ground. Has time to get up. Eventually wobble a short kick. It gathers no distance straight to Schwab, who shoots in towards goal, but Clayton is there on the last line of defence for the Royals. Hasn't a thing to kick to. Have to go to the outer side. He does. Tuck will be the flyer. Spoiling from behind. Wallace receiving, but beautifully smothered off the boot. A tackle too high on a Hawthorne player. It was like grease lightning, but it was too high. And Peter Schwab, who's been in everything in the past couple of minutes, has a chance to give Hawthorne a little more breathing space. He's kicked one. That was in the third term. Using a torpedo punt that gathers great height, going across the face of goal, and push through for one behind so their lead is now two points at the 17 and a half minute mark of the final turn 17 11 to 17 9. there's graham hinchin shielding the sun from the eyes comes to the members side of the ground the lead from harris oh. tuck intercepts so and michael tuck now we've mentioned about bernie quinlan being able to kick a ball and so too can michael tuck and Matt Rendell very quietly telling Hinchin which side he should have kicked the football, but Michael Tuck is where the action is at the moment. He's kicked one. That was under great pressure. So too is this one. Oh, he guides it beautifully off the boot. Straight through the middle for Michael Tuck. Straight through the middle for Hawthorne. And they lead by eight points. 18-11 to 17-9 on seven's big lead. Tuck's two goals in this term. No, it really, really come. Sandy turned it telling goals. Uh, very, one a very acute angle as we watch in the replay. Hinchin puts the ball out. Tuck reading the play beautifully. And from there, a great goal. Burn against Rendell. Lion-hearted effort by Fitzroy's Matt Rendell. Burn actually got the tap on that occasion. Wilson lost possession. Kennedy comes in. A hand pass out. Intercepted. On that occasion by Pert, the hand pass came out now, and Grant Laurie puts the ball forward. Quinlan in the front position, punched away, goes on again, gains it, gives the hand pass out to Scott Clayton. Clayton's short kick goes oh. forward, Polkinghorne, the player to take the mark. Hawthorne's David Polkinghorne.
towards centre wing. No mark taken. Across the back of the pack comes Grant Laurie. He's forced over the boundary line, so we're throwing to take place on centre wing, outer side of the ground. Eight points the margin. And Hawthorne hold. And the clock around, about to tick around to 20 minutes. Rendell gets a tap. Knocked away from Green. Wallace forces the ball forward. Pert comes on the scene for Fitzroy. A quick hand pass, finds Grant Laurie. He's able to steady and give the hand pass over the top. Wilson coming through, right in the centre circle. Wilson gives a quick hand pass, looking for Carlson. Ball bouncing awkwardly for Carlson. He gives it back to Wilson. On quickly, a good play. Nettle foul coming down. Puts a long kick down. Quinlan in the goal square, and the mark's taken by Bernie Quinlan. <laughs> Quinlan, who now has Chris Mew as an opponent, and although he's coming straight out, he'll be brought around by the umpire as the small scoreboard says 119 to 111. Bernie Quinlan will be attempting to kick his seventh goal. Seven goals, three, if he kicks this. And if he kicks it, it'll be two points between the sides once again. Quinlan. He kicks truly seven goals to Quinlan, two points the margin between the sides as Fitzroy come back once again. What a game at the MCG, 18-11 to 18-9. Quinlan, seven goals to his credit, and for Hawthorne, Peter Knights has kicked six as we see in replay. The ball put forward by Nettlefold, a long kick forward, and Quinlan waiting at the back. Too strong, too talented. And in the centre of the ground, Matthews on the ball for the first time today. Hinchin with him. As we go back for the centre bounce. 21 minutes gone. Final term. The winner going on to the second semi-final. The loser to meet Essendon next week. In the knockout final. Here's the centre bounce. Rendell. But beaten for it on this occasion. Through comes McCarthy. His handball to straight. Goes straight to Laurie. He picks it up towards the half forward line. Wilson waits at the back. He's on the wrong side, however. Side bottom through, but without the football. So too is McMahon. Plenty of pressure now. Green steadies beautifully to airs. And Hawthorne look cool as they turn defence into attack. Waiting at the back, however. A chance for Fitzroy to get out of trouble. They do so. Back towards Lee Carlson. And he takes it on the chest. A good diving mark. And the ball coming down from Les Parrish. Two points the difference. Not into time on yet. McMahon has his name on this one. Now he's got Quinlan and Muir. One out duel up in the forward line. Brereton's off. Payton's on. It's a prodigious punt. Quinlan sets himself. And together with Chris Mew, they take it over the line in the right forward pocket. What a game of football this has been, right from the word go. Good, hard, solid football. Quinlan plucks it out of the air, tries desperately to get a kick. He does! He's kicked it! The Roys have hit the front. Quinlan has kicked his eighth goal. And that is five goals for the quarter. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie say the signs. And the scoreboard sees Fitzroy, 19-9, leading Hawthorne, 18-11. On Sevens, big league as we see him in trouble as he plucked it out of the air. Mew affected the tackle, but Quinlan managed to get it onto the left boot and side bottom watched it sail through. Nine minutes into the second quarter was the last time that Fitzroy held the lead. And from that moment, Hawthorne went on to have a 27-point lead at half-time and looked in complete control of the game. Here we are at the present moment with Fitzroy holding a four-point advantage. 23 and a half minutes have gone in the final term here at the MCG. You're watching the seven big league as umpire Glenn James puts the ball down. Rendell gets the tap. Come, comes through to Gotch. Gotch's short kick. Smothered by Kennedy. Picked up by Wilson. The hand pass across to Ruse. Fitzroy going forward again as Ruse looks for Quinlan down in the forward pocket. Quinlan gains possession. The left foot snap back towards the forward area. Conlon couldn't take the mark. It comes towards McMahon. Hawthorne desperate down there in defence, but they look a little rattled at the moment as Fitzroy in this term have added seven goals, two to Hawthorne's three goals, one. 24 minutes have almost ticked over. Final term. Mew in the ruck work. Codlin. Paddling the ball along, still going. 
and now sees it over the line. 19-9 to 18-11 in a wonderful game of football. The loser to meet the Bombers. Robertson plucks it out of the air. Now the pressure's on Hawthorne. They've got to do something to see if they can steal the lead back again. Four points the difference. 30 seconds away from entering time on. And there'll be a bit of time on because it's rained goals. There's his kick. McCarthy the target. Second grab. Play on as the call. The ball fisted out of his hands. It's held up between centre and the half-forward region of Fitzroy's attacking zone. Pert in a spot of bother with the cramp, but he's not worrying too much about it at the moment. To half forward, McMahon, not paid. Wallace, back in towards the centre. Carlson going very easily, it allowed Knights through, but he's caught. Paddles the ball along, what a champion he is, but he's three against one this time, and he can't win. He's taken out of it behind the play. Some good shepherding work, sees Carlton get his kick towards centre wing. Wilson will meet the football, he does, keeps it in play, steadies things down, looking for Gotch. Fisted away from him, straight to Clayton, he loses it, Gotch through again, was he tripped? He was tackled illegally, said Glenn James, and he'll take it at centre wing as we've played half a minute of time on, so probably three and a half minutes of play left. And about that region, Sandy, as Gotch puts the ball forward towards a half-forward flank, Side bottoms there, couldn't take it on as he was falling. Nettlefold gets it, gets the kick down towards David McMahon. McMahon and Ayres, a good mark by Gary Ayres, as Harris came across the back. That, was, that Actually, it was paid the free kick, but Ayres did take the mark nonetheless. The hand pass coming on to Mew. Mew now from the half-back flank towards centre wing. Polking Hall in the front position, it's knocked down the ground, picked up by Swab. Swab to Robertson, Robertson has the chance to have two bounces. He'll have the shot, no, he'll go to the hand pass. He's now from the pocket, hooks it down towards goal. Burn in the front position, punched away by Coleman. Taken by Loveridge, he gets a push in the back. It'll be a free kick to Hawthorne's Richard Loveridge. He's 20 metres out from goal, about a 45 degree angle. Umpire Glenn James on the mark and disappointed Gary Pert. There's no doubt that it was a free kick to Richard Loveridge. And uh, the pressure that's on the, the young Hawk, who was one of the recruits of the year last year. And uh, he's had some bad luck during this season, but uh, right now it's Richard Loveridge and Hawthorne are back in front. Loveridge puts his second goal through, and it's Hawthorne 19 11 to Fitzroy 19 9. Two points, the margin held by Hawthorne. 27 minutes have gone. As on replay, you see why Richard Loveridge received that free kick. Centre bounce. Two points, the margin. Rindell. And Payton. The bounce favours Rendell. He grabs it, he's tackled, loses possession. The ball picked up there by Clayton. Clayton tackled, and the umpire Neville Nash decides to bounce the ball again. Ten metres on the Hawthorne side of the centre. From the bounce. Payton this time puts it out. Clayton gets the short kick forward. Ede comes out, traps it well on the half volley. Tackle too high, and Rodney Ede will come out with the free kick. Ede of Hawthorne. Looks a little groggy. Certainly is prepared to take his time. So Rodney Ede indicating that he'll probably go long. Long he goes. The torpedo punt kick. Matthews and Hinchin. Hinchin dive forward. Matthews tuck, puts it over the top. Judge is there. Getting a good piece of shepherding. Kennedy. Judge gives a hand pass over the top to McCarthy. McCarthy a hand pass to Kennedy. Kennedy from the pocket. Puts it through for one point. So it's five points to margin now with that point by John Kennedy. Three, three points, I should say. I'm getting flustered myself. It's a three-point lead to Fitzroy. It's punched away. Kicked off the ground by Robertson. Robertson now. Goes for the short pass. It wobbles forward. It's well taken by Loveridge. Loveridge swings onto the left foot. Puts a long, high kick. The pack flies, it's punched away by the Fitzroy defence. McCarthy's there, the hand pass across towards Payton. Payton's kick smothered, and a free kick goes against Payton, as we saw Nettlefold desperately dive across, and Nettlefold now gives the hand pass on to Clayton. Clayton now puts it out towards the half-back flank. It bounces, Swab coming on the scene. Can't keep it in play, it's over the boundary line, and the throw-in on the half-forward line for Hawthorne. 
29 minutes have gone in the final term. A three-point lead for the Hawks. Peyton gets the tap. Intercepted by Gotch. The hand pass from Gotch. Nap knocked back. Picked up by Matthews. Matthews kicked towards Loveridge in the forward pocket. Loveridge gathers possession. The short kick. Too far for Coleman. Picked up by Pert. Pert gives the hand pass over the top. It's taken by Parrish. Parrish now running the ball down, hooks the ball back and looking for and finding Laurie. Laurie a hand pass towards Nettlefold. He gives it on now and Coleman takes the ball down, puts it down towards the forward area. Penn Quinlan take the mark. He brought the ball down. No mark, call the umpire. Mew takes the ball away. The long kick from Mew up towards half back. He takes the mark. What do you need now? Spears the ball towards the half forward line and judge it is who takes the mark. A 15 metre penalty may well go the way of Ken Judge and Hawthorne steady for the moment. The short kick going forward, it bounces favourably for Byrne. Byrne gives the hand pass over the top, goes after it again. It's intercepted by Matthews. Matthews lines it up, but he's offline. One point and the margin, four points. One point to Lee Matthews, his personal tally, three goals, four. 19-13 to 19-9. 30 and a half minutes have gone in the final term as Hinchin gets the lead from Grant Lowry. Lowry will continue on from the half-back flank. Puts it up, side but on the favourite, but it goes past side but There's the siren! Hawthorne running out winners by four points. 19-13, 127 to Fitzroy, 19-9, 123.